You have a kitty. I have a kitty. Yours isn't pulling wires. No. Ara's got her ear flushed out with vinegar tonight. Because she leaked nice, disgusting yellow ear juice all over the clean sheets. So she got her little ear irrigated. And last night she got a bath because she was covered in her own poop. There's a reason we call her Nos for Catu. Because she is the grossest little She's gremlin. nasty. Are you the grossest little baby? Yeah. You just don't care. You're totally gross. Yeah, pretty much. I don't, I don't really give a fuck. Grady, please don't be disgusting when you get bigger. Oh, he's already disgusting now. Did, did you hear about the poop flail? I did. This is this is a wonderful thing cats do. So if you're like me and you have long hair and you own a cat, you shed quite a bit just as much as the cat does. And cats, you might not notice stray hairs on the floor. They do. And sometimes they eat them. Yes. And it's long hair. And it passes through them as a long hair. Yeah, that doesn't digest down. And then they poop. Mm hmm Except the long hair is still attached inside. It can only poop so much. But there's poop on the end of it. And so it becomes the poop flail, which is the worst thing you can imagine. Because the cat does not like the fact there is something attached to his butt. So he tries to run from it. He tries to escape. The poop flail. But the poop flail ain't having it. So there he is screaming about the house with a chunk of poop flailing off the end of him. And you have to calm this cat who is being pursued. Okay, okay. You have to calm Ow. a cat that is being pursued by its own feces. See, we just get we get poop foot because we have these long velociraptor feet. Like she has like two long back feet that curl over so we are full of poop and then track it into the bed okay 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 they're so fussy aren't they there's no need to kick me repeatedly in the boobs grady is too tired to give a shit right now Look that's at this. pretty much miracles default setting too tired to give a shit baby no don't don't go away stay here and be cute on the internet <laughs> No. Them. Fuck the internet. So yeah, they, they, they poop. That, that is one. That's something you don't want to wake up to in the morning. No. It's just the, the sound. And they don't like it either. Mm -mm. And they don't want you helping. They're like, no, no, I got I this. I have heard cats doing that with hair, but I've heard of them doing it with a string they were playing with. Oh, he doesn't get to play with string. He's not allowed to play with string. Because I Whereas Bridget, Bridget used to just carry the string around in her mouth. Because Bridget was weirdly part dog. So she'd just carry the string around in her mouth, trailing it behind her. And then she'd see it trailing behind her and chase it. Okay. You, do you want to get in your perch? And and Because you were just, you were floppy as all hell tonight, Kat. Oh, you don't want to be up here, but you don't want to be put down. But, well, lap is not an option. That ear is really clean, though, baby. Because I got to do stuff and I got to be loud, and you're not going to like it. I don't know. What, I, 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 I said probably one of the most profound things I have ever said this week. Really? Dear God, please give me the strength to stop attempting to reason with my cat. Yeah, that's that's a big old waste of time and effort. Yes, but we do it anyway. Why? Cat logic is not. Is not like our logic. Well, they don't even speak English. No. I think, actually, I do think they start to understand you after a while, assuming they can hear, unlike my little gremlin. But, uh, Goofball. they don't care. No, they don't. They want to do their things. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they could not possibly give less fucks what you want. Ah, <sighs> well, let's get to the intro going, shall we? As if the poop flail isn't giving you nightmares. See, so yeah, watch if you own cats, watch it. Make sure. Why are you on the floor again? Don't go, don't go near the wires. 
But they look delicious. Not the fucking wires. But they look delicious. Why? See, I'm doing it again. I just said not to try to reason with the cat. And what am I doing? I'm reasoning. Electrocute yourself. Don't come crying to me when you electrocute yourself. He doesn't. He just like stop making noises at me. I don't care. Yeah. I just said. And now what he's hearing is wah 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 yep. wah wah wah. Yep. Uh, all right. Intro. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And we're going to start briefly with God damn it, it happened again within within two weeks. Call it son of a... How long? When I, when I show you the story, Terry, you're going to have to tell me how long ago it was we did this one because it was not that long ago. It was week, bare weeks since we did this one. It, it, this is pretty much a case of what did I just say? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, did this, and this happened. This, it says April 1st, but that doesn't matter because it did happen. To get, it was not an April Fool's joke. Maybe her doing it was an April Fool's joke. Well, it didn't work. It's not a good one. Did not work. Troopers in Massachusetts stop woman driving with cardboard license plate. I don't understand what the second ver sentence has to do with anything. What? There was also a cat in the car. Is that illegal? I just did no. Just... Are you not allowed to do that in Massachusetts? No, no, no. This is this is 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 padding out the story. The trooper checked on the well-being of the woman's cat, which was in a cat carrier on the passenger seat. The cat was friendly and happy. This is news? Re read the last sentence of the article. Police say the cat was not booked and departed with the owner when she was released on bail. They didn't have to take a mugshot in Little Kitty Paw Prints? <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's padding out the word count, that is. That's seriously, yeah. Again? And this one is even... All right, the last one, at least they brought... They busted out the Crayolas. Look yeah. at this one. It's just a sheet of cardboard with some Sharpie on it. They ain't give a fuck. I mean, look, here's the thing. Even if the number's legit... I got pulled over once because the state of Connecticut had switched over to a new design of license plate and I had not yet changed it. I had a valid license plate, I had a valid registration, but my license plate was not the correct design and I got a ticket. They look, care about that shit. Look real close at the picture, Tara. She wrote the state on there. She wrote the state. <laughs> what state is it, Tara? What state is it? It's Florida. It's fucking Florida. Wow, I just looked at my Twitter feed and the fucking Nazis are at it again. Yay! I haven't even posted anything. Yay! Go so, away, yeah. Nazis. Anyway, moving right along. April fucking Fool's Day was last week. Yeah, it was. So I like to call it Abandoned Internet Day. There's some good shit on the internet, though. Like, Google always does something really funny. This oh, year, it's, you could do Google Maps and Disco. It's fun you should mention Google, though. Think Geek always does something really fun. The, my favorite this year, though, Pornhub, the free internet porn site, redid their entire homepage as Cornhub and changed all the thumbnails to corn pictures of corn. And I, I didn't click. As somebody told me that they actually did have, like, videos of corn. And that 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 won yeah. the day for me. Well, it's it's funny you should mention Google because you know Google does cute shit all the time and it's it's fine, but this year Google decided it was going to do its cute shit with something that's many businesses and home users consider mission critical. That being Gmail. Google apologizes for their April Fool's joke that cost people their jobs. I thought they just did the Google Maps thing, like the little oh. Google Maps guy well, was disco. They didn't want you to know about this one because, well, they had to they had to undo this one real fast. Google introduced Gmail Mic Drop as its April Fool's prank for 2016. It allowed users to reply to any email with a new send plus mic drop button. Clicking on the button, added a mic drop GIF 
featuring a minion and also muted the thread. So even if recipients replied to the email, oh. the user wouldn't be able to see new emails. Now, the problem with this is that they put their send plus mic drop button in exactly the same place users were used to having send and archive. Oh, dear. So people were sending out professional emails to prospective employers, current employers, other people, business related shit. With a minion gif. With the with the mic drop minion gif, and then it muted all the replies that could possibly have come back after that email. Yeah, that's no good. Just leave the important shit alone. Yeah. Because if you're expecting, oh wait, I have to remember today is April 1st, so I must check the email service I use every single day, just in case they've changed one tiny little thing. Just in case they've changed my signature to fuck you. Yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ. And uh, John the Wizard, once again, minions have ruined lives. Yes. Yeah. What are they? They look like earplugs. They, they might be. They might be. Like, what are they? I know plugs. there's probably an explanation in the movies. I don't care. They have butts. I know that. So they're earplugs with butts. They're earplugs with butts and giant go goggles. And who did the creature design there? I don't know. Why do I work in a mall? And that person probably is a millionaire. It's not fair. <sighs> so, yeah, you got to there's a line for your pranking and yeah. mission critical apps Cornhub, hilarious. Fucking with people's email, not not so hilarious. Well, we have something that looks like a joke, but God save us, it's not. Comes from a very snarky website that I happen to love called The Register. If you like tech news, it's a great place to get it. So, the guy was in a restaurant. And a seven-year-old noticed that he happened to be carrying a gun. Perfectly legal, licensed, open carry law. But he felt bad because once the child noticed he was carrying a lethal weapon, everyone in the restaurant started looking and staring at him. He felt oppressed. So what was his solution? Shoot everybody. You know, actually, this is kind of worse in the long run. Here's a great idea. Let's make a gun that looks like a mobile phone. What? Kirk Kyleberg from Minnesota was inspired by the fear of a small child in the restaurant. Kyleberg was carrying his own gun, gun looking gun, when a seven year old noticed it and ran off to tell his mom. He saw me and said, mommy, mommy, that guy's got a gun. And the whole restaurant, of course, turns and stares at you. And I thought there's got to be something better to do than this. You know what that thing is? Don't just carry your gun to random public places, even yeah. if you're allowed to. Yeah. The It's called the ideal concealed gun. It looks like a mobile phone has a trigger close up against the body of the gun itself. We pull down to provide double barreled dot 380 relief to anyone troubled by the concept of not having a gun on their person every second of the day. 380. How big can this thing possibly be? It's about the size of an iPhone. But that can't possibly have a very big bullet. Hmm? How big is a 380 round? Is that basically a fucking BB? No. It's He's about 38. So like Okay. Pretend I don't know shit about guns. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, never mind. Well, that was super helpful. <laughs> the body is made of plastic with a metal mechanism at its heart. If there's any good news that doesn't actually exist yet, although it'll be available in October for a very reasonable $400, and he already has 4,000 orders for it through his website. That's great, because what we really need is 
stupid gun people getting their gun mistaken for their phone. That's what we need in this world. Yeah, because be able to hide your phone, your gun in even more places. I can't possibly think here's of a bad a use for that. Hmm. But here's a question. If you have a gun permit, but not a concealed carry permit, that's concealed. That yeah. is pretty obviously concealed. Yeah. So if you don't have a concealed carry, can you carry this thing? Or even better, I can see this going through TSA in someone's checked luggage. Yeah. So yeah, I could see because what are they, they're gonna they're gonna they see so much shit every day they're gonna just pass right over this. There's a reason guns look like guns. <clears throat> so this this is this 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 is bad. And I'm oh my, oh my god! Like I have nieces and nephews. I don't know how many of you spend a lot of time around small children, but the first thing my nieces and nephew do when I see them after like 10 minutes is they grab my phone and they start fucking around with it. Yeah, you don't want a what, kid fucking around with this. What games do you have on here? Let me look at your pictures. Let me, you know, what do you what do you have on here? And kids love to play with your phone. You don't. This is a terrible, stupid, unsafe, horrible idea. Yeah, and maybe if other people are looking at you in fear and horror, the solution is not to hide your gun better. The solution Correct. is maybe to understand the rest of us are very uncomfortable with your gun. Maybe you don't need to carry your gun every single place you go. I mean, Jesus. Maybe you don't need to advertise how small your dick is to the whole world every time you go to the Wawa. When I'm not at home, I use this thing outdoors. I use this thing outside because other people may not be comfortable with me using it around them. I get that. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'll just go outside. Simple fucking consideration. And I don't you know go around flaunting my radioactivity powers in public because that would be rude. Tara. What? This is why this is why uh, Dan doesn't show up on the screen anymore because half his face is melted off. No, just just a little bit of his neck. <laughs> Speaking of things melting off, um, so this is a thing that happened. The CIA, and I'm I'm not making this up. I wish to God I was. The CIA was doing a training exercise in West Virginia using elementary oh, yeah, yeah using elementary and high school buses to train their dogs to detect explosives mm -hmm. when they were finished they cleaned up and left they didn't clean up very well they just really really wanted to train those dogs CIA left explosive material on Loudoun school bus after training exercise. Okay, good job, doggies. Training's over. <laughs> but they wanted to see if they'd catch it after that. Or they were morons. Loudoun school spokesman Wayne Barrett said the CIA indica indicated the nature of the material but asked the school system not to disclose it. Baird described it as a putty-type material designed for use on the battlefield, which requires a special detonator. Such putty or plastic explosives, including the well-known C4, are used in demolition and are considered stable. But let's find out where they found this. As part of last week's training exercise, CIA trainers placed explosive material into the engine compartment of a school bus. Bird said the dog successfully found the material in the engine compartment, but some of the material fell deeper into inside the compartment and became wedged beneath the hoses. Hey, Dan, yeah. what are the two things that set off C4? Pressure and heat. I have a funny story about that where someone lost their hand. <laughs> no, see, stories where people lose appendages are not funny. You have a really messed up definition of funny. That's so an engine could then 
set that off. Oh, he wants to come tell his story. Oh, come, yeah, Very please. Simple. Please. We're gonna, it, we're gonna it, boil, it boils down to somebody setting it on fire and another person going, put that out. So. But that's not a funny story. <laughs> that's a horrible story. So we're talking about a substance that when exposed to heat and pressure, violently detonates. And you left it in the engine block of a school the bus. The engine block of a school bus. Was it really a short bus? It was. Oh my God. Oh God, no. I heard this story earlier this week. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> Wise guy, the bombs on the bus go boom. <laughs> <laughs> you you would think that if you are the CI fucking A and you're doing a training explosive a training exercise with live explosives on a school bus. Maybe you don't use an active school bus for the first in the first place. Yeah, could you like were there like, no don't they have Here's a wild and crazy idea. After a certain point of time, they don't use school buses anymore. When they're too old and too expensive to repair, like, couldn't the CAA maybe get one of those and just use it specifically for this? And so that we're never even putting explosives on a bus that yeah, children will Why are there? you running CIA exercises near stuff where we put the kids of all the fucking, why? Yeah, I feel like there's ways that we could do this where we never have explosives where children are gonna be in the first place. But that's me. Well, and, and that's why, well, do you want the terrorists to win, Tara? I mean, <clears throat> they might be smarter than the CIA. <laughs> Oh, I'm, there's going to be comments on that one. Oh, yeah. I look forward to your comments. I and don't. And ignoring them. I don't. So, let's go back to our classic, good God almighty, what's, what, where are you, what is wrong with you stories. This one comes from Fairview Park, Ohio. You may be drunk. But you're never driving naked in your underwear with a child's snowsuit on your leg drunk. North Olmstead man is facing criminal charges after he ran over a fire hydrant and damaged several tree lawns while driving drunk. Brad, tree lawns? I don't know what a tree lawn is. That seems like, this seems like oxymoron. Yeah, is that different than a lawn lawn? Are there lawns made of trees in Ohio? Isn't that a forest? <laughs> Brad J. Flynn, 41, was wearing his underwear and a child's snowsuit on one leg. When Fairview, Why? <laughs> when Fairview Park officers approached his vehicle, players charged operating vehicle under the influence, high blood alcohol content, hit skip, open container, and willful or wanton disregard of safety or persons or property. The last line of the story. The snowsuit belongs to Flynn's nine-year-old daughter. But, oh, okay. The tree lawn is that <laughs> bit of grass in between the curb and the sidewalk, they're telling me. And apparently we've asked that before. Well, sorry. <laughs> why was his daughter's snowsuit on his leg? <laughs> was just that leg cold? <laughs> All the rest of him, where he was completely naked except for the underwear he See, was fine here's the thing i'm gonna <laughs> blow your mind we now have these things called pants where you can cover both your legs at the same time but tara what if his left leg wasn't cold then who is that jogger jackie joiner kersey who, who always wore the one-legged Bodysuit to jog, that was like her thing. You could do that look, I guess. Uh, hey, is... <laughs> how or, or you can get the kind of pants that don't go all the way down. This, this, I, do you, and does the kid really want that snowsuit back? 
at that point. I mean, it was only on his leg. It's not like he was using it as a diaper. Yeah, well, okay, well, that would have been the next horrible place to go with this, but... It, you, you, you were, how does this happen? The snowsuit is really what's giving me pause here. <laughs> because naked and driving and drunk doesn't even phase me anymore. That's like... <laughs> I mean, whatever. We how many of those have we seen? Whatever. It's the snowsuit on the leg that's really bringing a new twist. It's like you have to you have to think that the cops got there and they're like, but why a snowsuit? <laughs> why a snowsuit? Just, just what happened there, sir? <laughs> that was probably the first thing they asked. Not if you're drunk. Not Do if you think his leg was his daughter. <laughs> honey, get off the accelerator. No, no, honey. Honey, stop playing with the accelerator, sweetie. Daddy's got to drive. You got to stop playing with the accelerator. <laughs> uh, people in the channel are arguing. Wait, naked equals no clothing. Snowsuit and underwear equals clothing. QED. He was not naked. Okay. You little nitpicking, munchkin, min-maxing motherfuckers. I mean, you don't call them the choir pedantic for nothing. <laughs> that is true. They are just living up to the title you gave them. It is, and it was one of the better things I've ever said, I think. So, I've had a fight with family, with friends, with significant others. I've had fights in public with them sometimes. It's not fun. But we're all grown-ups. Have you ever had the public whisper fight? Yes. So trying not to let people know you're fighting. So yes. you're like fighting really quietly. Yes. Oh, white people. <laughs> so I, you, you deal with it. You're an adult. You handle your shit when you're back home. This is probably the absolute opposite of how you would handle that sort of situation in public. And it's Florida. Of course it is. Hubby drove with wife on roof of sport utility vehicle. A man who apparently drove several miles with his wife on the roof of his Toyota sport utility vehicle was jailed on a reckless driving charge. And he does not look like he gives a single chicken fried fuck. <laughs> Police stopped Richard Addy, 69, after noticing a female riding on top of the vehicle as the vehicle came to a stop, police helped the woman identified as Addie's wife off the roof. Addie said they'd argued after drinks at a restaurant in Palm City. They were staying at the resort because of work. After after an altercation at the resort, Addie decided he, said he decided to leave. So he said he didn't realize his wife was on the roof of the vehicle. How tall is that car? So they had a fight. And he tried to drive away without her. And she decided her best course of action was to climb on the car. And he decided his best... Addie stated at the first traffic light, he heard banging on the roof and realized she was there. He decided, after she realized his wife was on the roof, banging on it, to keep going. He said he kept driving with her on the roof because he lacked the cell phone to call police, he drove to the Martin County Courthouse in the hopes of finding a police presence. So instead of stopping the car and getting out, yeah, he kept driving and he drove to a... Because the first thing a courthouse wants to see is you driving up with a woman pounding on the roof of your car on top of it. Yeah. I also, I'm really stuck on the did not notice her on the roof of the car. What? Because, come on. Like, we've all left things on the roof of the car and driven off. Like, we've all been that asshole that leaves our soda. Yeah. On the roof of the car and then it spills all over the dash, the windshield. My, 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 my sister once, we went to McDonald's and she got a shake. She left it on the roof of the car and she stopped short at a red light. The shake spills all over the windshield. And I swear to you, she goes, 
That must have been a huge bird. <laughs> and I'm like, care no. <laughs> But we've all, we've all done it with little stuff. But no, even... Not he, a human. But he even admits that at some point he did realize she was on the roof of the car. He even admitted that to the cops. And just kept going. He thought, I'm going to be a responsible citizen and take her to the police. No! No. That's if not you were going to be a responsible citizen, you would pull the fuck over. Pull... <laughs> And of course, everyone in traffic was looking over at this shit going, oh, wait, we're in Florida. Never mind. Yeah. This must be like a Tuesday in Florida. Yeah. Mommy, there's a lady on the roof of the car. Yeah, honey, that's going to happen. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, sweetie. We're in Florida. That's going to happen. We were driving around Florida and we went over over the summer and I saw a dude driving a fucking dune buggy with a garbage can bungeed to the front of it. I don't even know what the purpose of that was. I don't even know what the function was. But he was just driving around that way. That's just what we call the work week in Florida. <laughs> okay, well, you, you do you. Got one more tonight. That kind of tops that one. This, this, I... Oh, for fuck's sake. This is uh, uh, comes from Hawaii and Japan. Honolulu. Yeah, it comes from Hawaii and Japan. You'll see why. Okay. I'm intrigued. Passenger turns violent after being told he can't do yoga on plane. Oh, fuck you. I thought yoga was supposed to deal with if you're not supposed it's not an aggressive thing it's really it's supposed to be the opposite of that yeah clearly he needs it a jab a japan bound aircraft aircraft returning to hawaii because of violent south korean passenger who wanted to do yoga instead of sit in his seat pilot of the march 26 united airlines flight from honolulu to uh narita international airport turned the plane around after hearing that Young Pei was yelling at crew members and shoving his wife. Pei told the FBI he didn't want to sit in his seat during the meal service, so he went to the back of the plane to do yoga and meditate. He became angry when his wife and flight attendants told him to return to his seat. So even his wife was like, honey, sit your ass down. Come on. You're embarrassing us. You're hey. being that guy. Don't be that guy. Pei pushed his wife because she was making, trying to make him stop. He felt she was siding with the flight crew. Keep, keep going. He tried to headbutt and bite U.S. Marines. Don't do that. Who no. were passengers on the flight and tried to force him back to the seat. And Those guys don't fuck around. Don't do that. And according to the complaint, he threatened to kill passengers and was yelling, there is no God. I don't care what situation you're in. Unless it's fucking life or death or you have agreed upon terms like you're in a UFC match or something. Don't fucking assault a Marine. No, they don't like that. They they don't fuck around, man. No. Pei said he went into a rage because he felt the flight crew was ordering him around. Yeah, they were, because you were being a dickhole. Have you never been on a plane before? That's what they do. That's their job. They're allowed to do it. It's called federal air re regulations. That's how that shit works. Pretty much once you're in an airport or in the air, you have no rights at this point. Yeah. In our Existence at this point in human society, once you are in the clutches of the air travel industry, you fuck. You have no fucking rights. It is a totalitarian regime until you exit that airport again. They own you. And that's just the way it is. It's not. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's okay. But it's the way it is. And unless you want to get your ass shot or fucking pancaked by some marines why would you fuck with marines oh and even better pay urinated on himself just don't fuck with the airplane people man first of all their job is hard enough second 
everybody on that plane is now panicking because they think you're a terrorist because people are panicky and we've been conditioned to fear anything that goes weird on a plane. Third, you're an asshole and you're inconveniencing everybody in an already inconvenient situation. I mean, Jesus Christ, has no one in his life ever told him no before? Is that the problem here? I mean, it's entirely possible. <laughs> Unique, of course. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. No, we, it was America back there. <laughs> it was America 20 miles that way. We're not in there no more. This is not America anymore. To do yoga. Also, even if it is in America, if you're in the air over America, totalitarian regime. This is... It, it, to do yoga? Lose it. Man, I have joked... Clearly you need the meditation. I have had Nick fits on fucking planes, and I've dealt with that shit. I haven't gotten up and threatened to kill a people and tried to headbutt a Marine because I couldn't get my nicotine fix. My mom had two knee replacements, and she couldn't keep her legs still for too long, or they would lock up. We flew to fucking Ireland, and she just explained to the... She bought a seat behind the bulkhead so she'd have the extra room. And every couple hours, she'd kind of get up and walk up and down the aisle a couple of times. She was cool. Like, there are ways to do these things that do not inconvenience everybody and make a fucking spectacle of yourself. <sighs> And there are you're... ways to take care of the shit you need to take care of and also act like a human in society. So let's see what he assaulted Marines, pushed his own wife, classy guy, <laughs> flight attendants, threatened to kill passengers and peed himself. Yeah. You're not getting on a plane again. No, you are on several lists now. They don't like you now. No. You, you've made you so yeah. The, the what's the, the first thing is if you get told some shit on an airplane by the flight crew, do it. You don't have a choice. Yeah, don't fuck with the airplane people. They don't like that, <clears throat> and they can have your ass arrested. And they have all the power. They can have you arrested if they just don't like how you look. They've done and the that. The thing shit. is, that's not regular arrested. That's federal, federal arrested. arrested. And federal arrested that's is... That's federal pound me in the ass prison. Yeah. That's not the fun... Well, there is no fun prison, but still. Yeah. They, they, don't get, they don't have to give no shit. They don't have to give no kinds of shit. Obey the flight attendants. We've learned if you're having a fight, the family member, significant other, whatever, the answer is to try to calm down and wait until you get to a place you can discuss the issue. De-escalate, don't accelerate. <laughs> Especially if accelerating means the right. person's on the fucking roof. I feel like it goes back to there's ways to handle your shit and still act like a human in society. We've learned you're not naked if you're wearing a child's snowsuit on your leg. That is actually a thing I had never considered until today. So that's what I'm wearing to work tomorrow. We've learned the CIA does not keep a very good eye on their explosives, and they use them around children. So, that's good. I feel safe. We've learned just because you have the right to own a gun doesn't mean everyone else has to be comfortable with that shit. And finally, we've learned when you're pulling pranks on people, do not fuck with their money. No. That's not funny. That is grounds for an ass whooping. 